Hello, welcome to another video. I'm going to be integrating um, this expression. I saw this problem on a list of problems as a like a screening kind of test for those who want to contest in the integration B at a school. I couldn't figure out what school it was, but this problem was sitting right there. And as soon as I saw it, I had an idea of what to do with the denominator um, so that it can look a little like the numerator and then I can make it my U. But while I was setting up to do this video, I just figured out I didn't have to do that extra step to be able to integrate this. Because if I make the denominator my U, I can get this in the derivative. I just didn't see it. Let's get into the video. Generally, integrating a rational expression uh, must start with the idea that I'm going to make the denominator my u because the numerator will contain the derivative of the denominator or at least be a scalar multiple of it or there's just some kind of multiple um, manipulation I can do to make that happen. If that does not happen, maybe you need to do something else. Maybe there's another strategy, but u substitution for a rational expression almost always saves the day. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make the denominator our u and see what happens. We're going to say let u be equal to 1 plus 2 sine squared x. If I take the derivative of u, this is 0, and this is going to be 2 times. The derivative of sine squared x is going to be 2 sine x times the inside. You apply the chain rule, cosine x dx. But I know that this 2 sine x cosine x is the same thing from my trig class as 2 times sine 2x. So you see that the sine 2x I was looking for dx is sitting right here. So it means I didn't have to do any modification, just make the denominator my u. If I divide both sides by 2, I'm going to have half du is equal to sine 2x dx. So in the integral, I can actually go back and replace sine 2x dx with half du and write u for this ex entire expression. So this can become um, the integral of half du over u. That's it. And this is the same thing as one half of the integral of one over u du. And that gives me, this is equal to one half of the natural log of u. But we said u was this. And this is always positive. So it means I don't need the absolute value uh, sign. I'm just going to write one plus two sine squared x plus c. This is my answer. But what was I thinking before? Because sometimes you may not see that the derivative of the denominator will give you the numerator for your u substitution, and it might be hard. So for me, I didn't really see that this was gonna show up here. I didn't think ahead like that. What I did was to say, can I write the denominator to look like cosine 2x? Because if the denominator is cosine 2x, the derivative of cosine 2x will contain sine 2x. And that's what I did here. And I'm just going to show you what I did. I'm not going to do the integration. So what I did was I said, recall that um, cosine 2x can be written as 1 minus 2 sine squared x. This is from your trig class. The double angle identity for cosine you can write it as cosine squared x minus sine squared x or 1 minus 2 sine squared x or 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Those are the three options, right? Okay, you need to remember these things. Now, what did I do? I decided to rewrite this expression. So I isolated this because from here I can say that 2 
sine squared x would be one minus cosine two x. So I took this expression and I replaced this with this so that what I had here, the integral became sine two x over one plus this, which made it two minus cosine two x dx. And then I said, let u be two minus cosine two x cosine two x. And so that my du became minus minus sine two x times two, which is two sine two x was my du, which is the exact same thing we got here. You see that? It's the same thing. So this is what I was working with until while I was setting up, I just said, I can actually differentiate this straight because this expression is this expression. If two functions are exactly the same, their derivatives will be the same. Yeah, that just makes sense. Okay, so from here you can navigate back to this line and finish your integration. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.